This video is about to change somebody's life and that somebody can be you if you are willing to change your life in 2025. Make sure that you grab your pen and your journal with you and turn your phone horizontal so that you don't get disturbed by what is going on in the comment section. I'm showing you how to dismantle train for the entire new month. Listen, I'm giving you a bonus right here. My life changed when I discovered this. And this can be the beginning of great things in your life too, if you allow it. So focus, focus, focus. Let's get to it. First of all, good people, you have to know and understand that candlesticks talk. As you see them here, they tell a story. Now to read candlesticks effectively, you have to be able to comprehend and read their language. Candlesticks show us four prize movements. They tell us the opening of the prize and the closing of the prize. They go in detail to show us how far the prize went or how low the price went. So they gave us the opening and the closing. They go as far as telling us or showing us how far it went or how low it went. And we can capitalize on this information for our own benefits. Lastly, the body of the candlestick gives us a loop to be able to determine prior the direction of the next candle. This is the Audi USD charts and we are on the monthly time frame. Each and every candlestick that you see here on these charts represents months. They precisely tell us how the markets moved in the previous months. On the last candle, we have this month, which is October. The previous candle will be September. The previous candle will be August and so on and so forth. So I'm using the previous month's candlestick to find this month's trend bias. There are so many ways which I go about in doing this. There are a couple of things that I usually look for in the candles that I'm using to determine future price movements. But on this video, I'm finding interest on the September candlestick and the August candlestick and I'm gonna go ahead and put my horizontal lines over these areas. Now these will be my monthly support and resistance zones which I will be using for this entire new month. Let's take a look at the quality of these zones before we move to the next time frame. As you can clearly see this every time the price or the candlesticks comes near these levels they always fail to pass through if they happened to tap they always revert back to the zones as a trader this gives you an edge over the markets because now these are the areas whereby you can be looking at to take constructive trading opportunities now this is what a weekly time frame will be looking like as you can see that this middle line right here this middle horizontal line didn't look really like it was this valid and so strong on the monthly time frame. With the green color, I'm highlighting the middle zone in two sections. The first section will be my premium zone and the second section will be my discount zone. See that it is a very strong and a respected level. It was respected multiple times. Even last month, the market respected it again. See where the market is? going right now see what the market is doing right now as the price is approaching this level i'm looking forward to it being respected again. so this will be your premium zone as long as the price is still playing around the above green line which is your support it will mean to you that you are still looking for buying opportunities but should the price break and close below your green support this support will now then become a resistance this will mean that you have to change your shift you are no longer looking for buying opportunities because you are no longer as the premium zone but you are now as the discount zone therefore you will be looking for selling opportunities this green horizontal line is your decider. 
it tells you your entry. You see now we we don't find entries in the 15 minutes or the 5 minutes time frame, but we confirm the entries on the 15 minutes and the 5 minute time frame. You got there knowing where you are supposed to take the entry because you already spotted the entry a long time ago. That is how you take good quality trades on the market. As for your entry, you see right now I'm on a weekly but I already know where the market is going to as it is and I know where the market will potentially reverse and I know where I'm supposed to enter the market and I know where the market will be going and I know where I'm supposed to put my stop loss and my take profits but I have not even viewed the one hour or the five minutes of the 15 minutes yet you can't be a trader and you don't know what is going on what is happening where the market is going it tells you then we get to the daily time frame on the daily time frame is whereby we are looking for the trend direction and obviously the daily time frame confirms to us that we are in a very bullish trend but guess what to us this is not a surprise this is not whereby we are just finding the rise trend the actual trend of the market we already know this we took it we saw this even on a weekly time frame this we are actually on an uptrend because where we are in a premium zone and remember what i said i said it to you guys if we are at the premium zone we are only looking for buying opportunities now the trend line confirms this but also the structure confirms it see we have a run a pullback a run and we are currently at a pullback and because it's a pullback we may not go all the way and tap to retest on our green line the markets may just reject at where it is right now so be mindful of the pullback you have to know whether we are as the run or we are as the pullback because you might get disappointments if you don't know the structure not because the strategy is wrong not because what i said does not work to you or blah 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 no simply because you simply don't understand the market structure the runs are much longer than the pullbacks so you need to know what is happening but then on the other side we might still come all the way down to retest before going back up and should that happen remember always remember that this line has been tested so many this times is a before very strong area and respected so many times before in both ways therefore this is a very strong suppose this will be a very strong support line and it is a monthly horizontal level that matters so much because monthly levels are very stronger than smaller time frame levels so as the market is approaching this area be ready now according to the trend line this trend line is a support area that has been violated over there and the price closed below if it is respected then it means that the price is coming to retest this very same level and if the price rejects this level we will be looking for buying opportunities but should it break and close below we will have entered as the discount zone where we will be looking for selling opportunities now guys before we get into the entries let me share something with you something that i wish someone had told me had showed me before and this left me very confused for a really long time because it made trading to seem like a guessing game or a gambling game and i really couldn't understand if the market was going down 
why was this going down if it's going up why is this going up everyone seemed just to explain then it's gonna go up and then after going up this is gonna happen but i always wanted to know the behind the scenes i wish i could have posted the video and said but why is this going up or why is this going down and today i'm very honored and blessed to be the one that is here explaining to you all guys because i've been always been curious as a child as an adult I, i'm just a curious person like this i want to be informed and it just feels so unreal when someone is telling me this information but then is look or feels like a misinformation when you're gonna just tell me okay it's an uptrend it's a downtrend the market's gonna come here like why is this coming here what is pushing is sudan it's a it's a bearish momentum don't tell me about bearish momentums i want to understand what is causing this bearish momentum so <laughs> i'm gonna explain this to you right now okay but let me tell you something that i have just done right now as you can see there's on the last day's candlestick, on the last day candlestick, I placed the blue horizontal line above and below. Okay, so I'm doing this to show you guys that as we are expecting price to come down to all the way here, it's gonna keep on taking out the last low the last low the last low up until it reaches this level that is another indication to tell whether the price is still going up or down so you are killing many birds with actually one stone on this video so the price will keep on coming down here because of this inside liquidity on the left side okay so it's gonna keep on filling up out this inside liquidity on the left side until it reaches this red line there's something called the outside liquidity and the inside liquidity um it's gonna take very long if i may explain it right here but the people whom i have mentored know this and for people as i'm creating the course if you as i will be creating the course soon <laughs> for you guys because i don't have time to mentor you right now i don't but i do want to assist you as best to the best of my abilities as i can so because i also want you to win so now we are on the four hour time frame this course guys will be very informative i'm planning to leave no stone and turned you guys you guys you guys are gonna be the best i tell you are gonna be the best with so much information ah guys i'm very informed god has been too good to me god has been too good to me and i can't wait to share everything with you guys people who took my mentorship know so much already and i'm gonna re release all the cards on the course i'm so excited it's gonna come out late though because i don't wanna rush it as much as it will cost money but it's not about the money i want to give you guys the best thing that will set you up for life so let's um come out here we are on the four hour time frame right now and you can see that actually if you look on the previous time frames you will think that the trend is somewhere up you are not seeing the trend as it is you don't know you get to see what is happening you get to see what is happening but when you nail is down on the four hour time frame then you get to see not the trend that is why i don't mark my trends on a four hour time frame i don't mark my trends on a one hour time frame because look at the one hour time frame what trend is this <laughs> but what i like is the fact that we have a downtrend marked with this screen here you gotta know what this screen is for if you can just 
look as what we did previously. But I want us to focus on this maroon, which is here. The real trend is going up. But remember that we have passed this support, which is now a resistance. Remember, I told you when we were doing the daily and we are looking forward to going down. But you can see that according to the daily time frame, as I said to you guys, if we continue to go down, we're going to keep on mitigating the last day's lows. But if we are changing the structure, we will no longer be mitigating the last day's low. We're going to keep on now changing and mitigating the last day's high, which on the one hour time frame, it looks like we have a bullish momentum. Um, entering the market then here on the 15 minutes we get to see this bullish momentum very closely and we can see that we have an order block mind you we do have a resistance line marked with the blue uh, which you can see on the four hour and on the daily time frame these blue lines that i marked out we have a resistance right here underneath this order block so remember i told you before this we might not go back all the way down to mitigate the green line but because we are at the pullback remember when i said that we might find ourselves changing structure somewhere around there that is why i said to you guys on a daily time frame this it is important to understand the market structure because if you don't you're gonna be misinformed and you're gonna blame me or you're gonna blame the strategy but the truth is you just don't understand the market structure because as much as everything is happening we are still this structure strategy is based on the market structure purely price action so according to the market structure we can see this now we have a bullish momentum we are already expecting anything at this point because we know that we were as the pullback this was not a trend direction it was just simply a pullback so we are expecting anything pullbacks i said to you guys pullbacks are not as larger as the runs the pullbacks are shorter than the runs so that green line may be mitigated but this green line again may not be mitigated and according to what is happening right here it seems as we are back on the run side of the market we are back on the overall trend of the market which is the uptrend that is why i don't like trend lines i do see trend lines i do place trend lines but i place them with knowledge that's all i can say i place them with with some wisdom because if you're gonna trust on the trend lines Yo, you'll be messed up most of the time. Plus, we still have a gap here. You can see that we still have a gap here, which we are still hoping to mitigate. You know this if we left a gap. If the market's opened and left a gap, it still has a responsibility of going up and filling this gap. But since it's opened with this order block with a gap again, I'm saying that we're going to come here and close this gap and then move up, close this gap and continue moving up until further notice. That's I see market doing in the near future, whether today or the day after today, but this move will be happening. This move will be happening soon. This move will be happening. And should we take out this previous high here on the upper side? This will then also be a confirmation of a trend change. By the reason of this aura block, we can already say the trend change has been confirmed. But should this last high also be taken out, there's another assurance that indeed the trend change has occurred. So this will be a good point to add up another trade going all the way up but also be careful of the above maroon resistance so take notes if you decide to take a trade like this in the markets because you may be aiming 
too high but you may find this there will be another reaction there so you need to be aware of what's in front of you plus we have another blue resistance line here which is our last daily high so this is a very strong level there will be indeed a reaction on that zone we have multiple confluences so yeah it would be a good area to place another entry right there but should that zone be broken out yo <laughs> are you gonna make money because now it means that we are officially the officially the official trend change the one that i normally advise people to take no matter what because it means the trend has changed 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 no market manipulations because this trend changes on the lower time frames are full of manipulation you have to really know the markets to trade them and to trade them efficiently you have to be a little bit more knowledgeable on the market structure and so forth but the one that occurs even on the daily time frame that's a real trend change if you see a trend change and it's reaches that it's reaches that on a daily time frame know that the trend has changed no market manipulation there no inducement zones there the trend has changed and we will be officially looking forward to taking out this inside liquidity on our left hand side you can go ahead and take as many trades as you like at this point and use the upside daily highs 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 to add on your trade up until you get to last month's high <laughs> this is the best right here this here is about to change lives here you will learn how to catch moves as early as they happen you will learn how to make the most out of what the market is giving you and to make it efficiently um <laughs> i i don't want to talk too much right but here. this is as other people will be telling you keep on putting these lines putting these lines here puts these lines and then uh, then you end up with a chart that looks like i don't know <laughs> But as you put these lines, at least you'll be putting them as to know so that you can remember where to add on, where to add on. And as the price keeps on taking out these blue lines, these blue lines are the daily highs. And you can keep highs, on adding and targeting on the, daily the time next frame, area, you'll the see next this. area, the, the daily next area. High. Guys this right here i'm teaching you how to trade how to know forex and how to understand what you are doing because that was the most difficult part for me there's people kept on saying do this then this is gonna happen but you really don't know what you are doing you really don't know the behind the scenes in, in in this analysis you really don't so it becomes very light it doesn't have weight so it struggles to hold because there's no weight we need the inside scope we need to understand we need that light bulb that will lighten up the mind that we will know that a person will know what they are doing if the market is doing this why is this doing this thing you we need that in such scope and i believe there's many people need it and it's, it's it's very too much information for me to cover in one or two videos that is why i want to take time with this because because i want to dish out yo every i, I want to equip you as much as i can this right here is life changing ah <laughs> <laughs> i know let me just shut it comment down below and tell me what you would like me to make sure that i include on that course i'm already planning to leave no stone unturned but just comment and tell me what would you like me to include on the course to make sure that it saved you up for life and obviously it will be released 
next year around March. So don't rush me. Don't email me and say, but you said the course is coming. Wait, no, no, no. You can just say for it for now and let me do this thing for you guys in peace please <laughs> may the peace of god rule in your hearts i'll see you on the next video